Hey guys, your neighborhood TF2 Corgi here giving you a brand new TF2 video. So yesterday I was on my bed contemplating on what video I should make next. So I went on the weird side of YouTube to find some of that juicy content. And I had come to the conclusion that I should talk about Medic. So I obviously haven't talked about Medic at all, but I feel like Medic could use some more love, you know? On a side note guys, have you ever had a time where you went on a Valve server and there's usually like that one guy who thinks he's actually good at the game and constantly screams at his teammates. We've all seen that before and trust me, if you don't have a medic on that team, he's gonna scream someone to be a medic. So today I'm gonna be regurgitating some simple steps on how to effectively play medic on your favorite Skyle server. Step 1. Share the heals. It's important to make sure you never pocket one guy when there's a cluster of friendly gamers around you. Share the wealth, and try to give them a nice cushion of overheal before they go into the field of battle. Make sure you also prioritize on who you want to heal. If you're in the back healing wounded people and in the corner of your eye you see two of your teammates fighting enemy gamers, make sure you prioritize and do your best to keep those two people alive rather than your wounded friendlies. Your wounded friendlies are weak, sure, but they're safe while those two teammates are taking damage and have a higher risk of dying than your wounded allies. Step 2. Know which medigun to use. Let's look at an example. Do you see this medic? We'll call this medic Bob. Bob consciously knows that there's a sentry nest on last point. Out of these three mediguns, which one should he use to face this situation? The right pick in this case would be the medigun. Let's look at one more example. Bob is playing on defense and knows that there isn't another medic on the other team. Out of these three mediguns, which one should Bob use? Trick question, they are all good mediguns to use. Simply having the medic puts your team at an upper advantage. Step 3. Crossbow. If you are currently using a syringe or bloodsauger, I want you to pause this video right now and craft a Crusader's crossbow. Trust me, it's important for this video. The crossbow is your best friend. Why not have one healing item when you can have two? But Walt, how am I supposed to defend myself with one straight arrow when I could have 40 needles instead? I'll have to ask my accountant about that. Uh. Think about your role as medic. You're not going to run at your enemy with your syringe. You're strictly behind your teammates playing as support. And your crossbow will only help but strengthen your support role. Step 4. Be aware of the environment around you. You're the most targeted class in the game, so you will usually be faced by either Frenchmen or bombing soldiers. To tackle the spies, when you are not in the field of battle, look back every once in a while. It will make a huge difference between you being dead or him. For the bombing soldiers, the second you see a soldier in the air, use your map knowledge as an advantage and escape. Let's look at an example. Let's pause the video right here. This isn't obviously a soldier, but this pyro has spotted me and has intentions to kill me. If I keep moving back, it would almost certainly mean death, but this can be avoided with map experience and all I have to do is simply jump over him. And step 5. Have fun. Never be discouraged by others. Just remember, they are not the ones doing the healing. And with that guys, I hope you enjoyed this video. We are so close to reaching 100 subs. And I just want to say, I love you guys. After 2 months of being here on YouTube, it's been the most fun I've ever had. So give yourself a round of applause for making my experience here on YouTube a fun ride. I'll be looking forward to the future of this channel, and I'll see you guys in the next video. And of course, take care everybody. Love you guys.